Welcome to Chalk Talk, Danville Public Schools Weekly News Magazine. I'm Diane Locker, your host. Many times on the show, we talk about parents and how they can get involved in schools and how important it is that they be involved in schools. What we're going to be talking about this week is one school that has kind of taken charge of this and has a very successful boosters program going. We're going to be at Bonner Middle School. I have with me Daphne Wall, the principal, and later we're going to be talking to some of the people that are involved in the boosters program. Now, Ms. Wall, boosters. I was talking earlier with the president of your boosters club, and he said here it's sort of like the PTA, and I always thought of boosters being football, but that's a bit different here at Bonner, isn't it? Exactly, and good morning. Uh, the Boosters Club here at OT Bonner Middle School, we support all academics, we support athletics, and we support every school organization that we have here at Bonner Middle School. What we try to do is we try to, a lot of times what happens at the middle school level is we lose a lot of the parent involvement. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to have an avenue, a vehicle, for parents to stay involved here at the middle school level. Why would you think, and, and, and going back to the statements you just made, why would you think at the middle school level you begin to lose parent involvement? I think a lot of times what happens is that um, Parents, when they, you know, you're really involved, I think, in a lot of parties and things like that at the elementary level. And um, we have a lot of Title I programs in the county that really and, and um, elicit a lot of Title I engagement. And we're not Title I schools here at the middle school level. Mm -hmm. And so what we have tried to use the Boosters Club is to have a lot of activities and a lot of, um, at our Boosters Club meeting, we provide a lot of educational opportunities for our parents. Now, such as? Uh, for example, last week, uh, last month, we uh, had Amanda Oaks from the Danville, uh, Pennsylvania County Community Service Agencies Agency come and present on uh, internet safety. And we had Mr. Mike Nicholas, a local attorney, come and present while she was presenting to our parents. Uh, he presented uh, uh, internet safety to our students while she presented internet safety, texting, and sexting to our parents. So we're trying to provide some activities and some educational opportunities for our parents. Uh, tonight we have our second our Boosters Club meeting, our third Boosters Club meeting, and uh, our nurse will be here, uh, Nurse Day, and she will be presenting uh, flu and cold information to our parents. So every uh, Boosters Club meeting we have some type of informational educational session for our parents. We will be doing SOL uh, training sessions during boosters uh, meetings. Uh, it's not just about fundraising. It's a lot of educational opportunities for our parents. And so we're trying to do that, having engagement opportunities, provide some learning opportunities for our parents, keep that involvement for our parents. Our school cannot function without our great staff, great students, and our parents involved. Now, if you, if you have the Boosters Club, do you also have a PTA, or is the Booster Club take care of that? Our Boosters Club is like our PTA, PTO. We do not have a booster, uh, PTA or a PTO here at Bonner. Our Boosters Club is instead of our PTA and PTO. We do you think that it has anything to do uh, for parents with the change in the name? In other words, if you, let's go to a Boosters Club meeting rather than let's go to a PTA meeting. Do you think that has anything to do with it? Well, I think that we've tried to really educate our parents about this. We've tried to tell them this is not about a sports Boosters yeah. Club. What we want to do and what we've tried to do here at Bonner is we've tried to, Boosters Club started at Bonner probably six, seven years ago, and then it sort of died out. When I started back here at Bonner, when I became the interim principal and then later the principal, we um, went, looked at the charter that they had, the bylaws of the Boosters Club, and we decided to get that going again. 
because we really like the concept of having the Boosters Club. And, you know, we're all about spirit here at Bonner. And so we really think that what we wanted to do is we wanted to take and keep all the money that our parents put back into the organization, we wanted to keep it locally. And we wanted all the money that for membership, we wanted it to come back to our staff and students here. And so we do have fundraisers. The Boosters Club does have fundraisers. But I think the most importantly is that we're trying to get our parents engaged in the learning that goes on here. And it's not just about our student outcomes, which is our most important goal, but we also want to help our students and our parents and help them help our students. And part of that is education of our parents. And I think what we're going to do in, uh, is bring in uh, your president of your Boosters Club and his, his wife, who happens to be the events coordinator, and, and talk to them about how they feel as parents being involved. Because um, you've made an excellent case for having a Boosters Club. And I think you're doing a great job here at Bonner with that. And I want you to thank you for spending some time with me. Thank you so much. I have with me J.D. Edmonds and his wife, Janine. And J.D. is president of the uh, Bonner Boosters Club. And Janine, you do events, correct? Yes, ma'am. Now, J.D., I want to do a little history thing here. You reminded me when I walked in this morning. You and I have met before. Uh, we've done Chalk Talk before. And where was that? At Johnson um, Elementary School. And at that time... You were with the PTA there at Johnson. Yes, I was. And we talked a little bit earlier, and this was a, sort of like a new news to me that PTA and boosters is kind of synonymous. It's kind of the same thing. Yes, it is. Now, how long have you been involved in either the PTA or a boosters club here at Bonners? Give me, give me the years that you've been working with Danville Public Schools. Ever since probably about eight years, I started off as the president over at Grove Park, then become president over at Johnson Elementary, and now here at Bonner, it's two years. So that's probably about eight, nine years, I would say. I think I, no one that's ever watched Chalk Talk or been to any of the schools, they all know the same thing. We're always saying we need parents. We need parents involved. And to be quite frank with you, we don't have enough parents involved if you look at our entire school system. Why, how, when did you make that decision that you were going to be involved in your children's education? As um, soon as my daughter was in preschool, I made up my mind that I myself can make a difference and sort of encourage other parents to do the same stance, you know, not just sit back and complain, but actually do something. So I made up, as soon as she became in school, I'm going to be more involved as a parent and get myself out there a little more. Now, Janine, do you, do you feel the same way? Is that, is that how you feel about getting involved? Absolutely. Um, I'm just more of a support system for my husband, but I'm more involved, but I'm just not interested in the forefront. Now, as events coordinator mm -hmm. for the Boosters Club here at, at Bonner, what, what does that mean? That means we help basically with the events, um, help in, um, implement the events that, are, um, that we have for the school. We'll sit down in the beginning during the summer and try to figure out what events we'll think, we think that's going to be positive for the children. For instance, we're doing a um, talent showcase, and that's what we're going to highlight for March because March is Art Appreciation Month. Now, when you have a talent showcase, yes. are, are we talking performing? Or are we talking, because I know you and I talked about your interest in the arts and yes. things like that. Any kind of talent? I mean, either performing talent or, or showing your art, is that how it's going to go? Actually, we're focusing on um, the talents with the children that are dancing, singing, um, instrumental. Uh, we're highlighting those children. I think that probably you and I also discussed this a little bit earlier, getting children involved. Yes. Let's say that you're not working with the academics. You're working with that singing talent. You're working with that dancing talent. Yes, you're working with some talent they have. I think that contributes to their academics. Uh, I agree 100% because I think if you give kids and you put them in um, – in some type of activity. I think they focus more better with their education. I think it gives them some um, extra room to grow. It's going to make them feel like they need to do better when they tend to um, showcase talent. Um, 
I don't know. I, just, I, I think it also gives more interest in the school. Yes, it does. I am successful at this, therefore I am successful at Bonner. Yes. Whatever it is, I'm successful at. Yes. And we try to make the kids feel like they're worth something. Uh, we're focusing on, our big thing is focusing on self-worth. Um, letting them feel like, you know, kids have hidden talents and they sit to themselves in their room and they never know. So we're trying to tap into the hidden potential. You're also working with an age where even if they have a talent, they're very reluctant to step out there. And I think that's what you were just saying yes. is they need that encouragement to right. come forward. They're not they're not little children anymore, but they're not high schoolers either. They're kind of right. middle as in middle school. Right. And we want we just want to nurture the talents that they have. They'll come and they'll audition. So they audition with a talent, and we already have, um, if, if they say, well, I'm shy, it's okay because we're going to put them in some different acts, and we're going to nurture it throughout the months until March, and they're going to be phenomenal. The one we had last year was phenomenal. It's probably well received by the community, it too, really isn't was. it? It really was. It's entertainment. Yes, ma'am. It really is. So hope to see you out um, in March, um, March the 26th. Put that plug in. <laughs> now, J.D., <coughs> What do you think? And let's get, let's talk about your you've you've two children. You got one in college now, yes. and one here at Bonner. Yes. And obviously, you've been involved in both of their educations from, like you said, from preschool on. Do you, what do you think that does for a child to have their parents involved in their education? I think it makes them proud. Um, say that my parent is here showing their support and also showing your support of your kid. It's easy to support them when they're in school activities such as sports, but academically as well to just give them a good support system. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a short break, and when we come back from the break, I want to get a little bit more into the types of events, and I want to go back to you and talk a little bit more about how children feel about having their parents involved. And we're also going to take on the big thing of trying to get more parents involved. Be sure to come back after the break and we're going to continue our conversation about the Boosters Club here at Bonner Middle School. Hello everyone, my name is Alexandra Reddy and I'm the Beta Club President here at Galileo Magnet High School. Let me tell you about Beta Club. Beta Club is a national academic club that focuses on community service. And in fact, our motto is let us lead by serving others. So every month, the Beta Club here at Galileo completes a service project for our community and also for our school. And then in February, we travel to the state convention where we compete with other schools in the areas of English, science, social studies, talent competitions, and it's a really awesome experience. But I also have the honor of being the Virginia State Beta Club president, an election that I won back in February at the convention. So this means that I have to travel to at least two other state conventions this year. There's North Carolina, South Carolina, all across the country that I am able to travel to. So I'm very blessed to be the state president, and I'm excited for what the year holds and making Galileo proud and making Virginia Beta proud. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we're at Bonner Middle School and we're talking about a very important subject and that's parent involvement. I have the president of our booster club here at Bonner, J.D. Edmonds, and his wife, Janine. And we've talked in the first half of the show about the importance of either a PTA or a boosters club in your school. Now, in the, you brought up something, uh, Janine, that I really want to uh, carry forward. You talked about how to pull the community in. Now, let's, let's talk about that. You talked about the schools. You talked about getting involved. But you also talk about community improvement. That's, that's going in a much broader terms. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's just bridging the community with the school. Um, in past times, um, we all were a community of love and fellowship but now it's like it's kind of a divide if we can kind of bridge and it starts at home but it really starts in your school as well with your children if you can be that bridge and we're trying to be that bridge to bridge the parents the community and the schools together and increase the um fellowship with throughout the community with the parents and the the children and stuff that's how you improve the, the communities I feel like because when we have parents get on one accord 
um, with the schools. And if I'm in the school and I know the teacher, and if I'm out in the school and I've learned other parents, then I know their children. Then it's easier to help with your kids, even if I don't really, I'm not really a family member of the child or something like that. Then I can still be instrumental in, in helping that child and they may respect you a little bit more. So I think um, bridging the schools and the community with the parents, I think that's very important. I, I think that's kind of looking on the school as um, a, a family unit, a community unit, the yes. same way we look at our churches and Absolutely. how we come together in our churches. Absolutely. And what you're saying is that we need to, to join that, to bring the community in also. Absolutely. Because every single school in the city of Danville, whether you have students in that school or not, is very important to the community. It really is. That's part of the building of a good community is good schools. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and I think that's, that's what you're talking about. Absolutely. I think it'll leave a lasting impact if we just work together as a community school and parents together as one. So that's our um, purpose as the PTA and <laughs> boosters throughout our years is just to basically bring the parents in to be on one accord with each other. And that way, um, when parents tend to say that schools, um, you know, may not have a care or the, the teachers and staff may not think the parents care, it's just a kind of a divide. I think it's just a disconnect. And they, the staff of the schools, I think they have one perception, parents have another perception. But if we come together, we'll all know we working to, towards the same purpose. I think the best way to overcome disconnects or misunderstanding is conversation. And, that, and that's what you're saying. And if, and if you don't come to the school and have that conversation, you're going to keep the attitude toward the school, be it negative, be it positive, right. it's going to stay. Right. And well, what you're you saying in, is... When you come in full force and you know what's going on, then it makes it a little bit easier. Let me turn to you, J.D., since you are the president. What, how... How do you reach out? I mean, I mean, uh, Janine, she's talked a little bit about how she's, his, it, we should be reaching out. How here at Bonner are you reaching out to the Bonner community to try to pull parents in? Well, at all of our meetings, we will try to do is have people to come in from the community or either here at school to talk during our meetings. Like we have the nurse coming in tonight. She's going to talk about cold and flu. So we also bridge that gap of community awareness of what's going on in the community. If an outbreak of something goes on, we try to have it at our meetings as well. It's, it's almost like you're not, your meetings are dealing with educating parents about, not just about what their children are doing, but educating them about things that they need to know. And when you talk about colds and flus, you know, we grown-ups get those too. It's not just a, a child type thing. Anything that's going on in the community, you're saying you expound on that. Correct. Like I said, we address it in our meetings, sort of to bridge that gap. We're just not all school, 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 and all about the community as well. So when we bring people in, we sort of give them education of what's going on at our meetings, give a little diversity in our meetings. How many students are in Bonner? Do you know that? I think roughly about 850 or so. So 850 students. Now, can how many people or parents are involved in boosters? Um. Around about 100, I would say, um, but when it comes to the meetings, we get poor support at times um, for whatever reason it may be. But we encourage the parents to come out and show your support because a lot of the parents just don't know. So we sort of trying to encourage them to come out so they can see what exactly we do as the boosters. Same thing as a PTA, but what we're doing is trying to get the parents involved, help out with the school, whatever the school needs, we sort of help them out. I uh, noticed something in something I was reading earlier that you will even help with school supplies and things of that if if money runs low. Is it, it? Did I read that correctly? Yes, that is correct. We help out with any organization here at the school, field trips, um, with belts, with shoes, with hats, with coats, you name it. If there's a need, I make sure that our boost is there to support it 100%. Whatever Ms. Wall, the principal, asks for, I'm always really there to help with pencils. You name it, we help out. How do you get the message out? How does the school help you get the message out to the, um, the parents? It's, it's not always easy to reach all of the parents. 
Um, every Sunday, Ms. Wall sends out an announcement telling what's going on in the school, what we're going to do, what we're trying to get accomplished. Every parent gets that message. So whenever we do something, Ms. Wall is the very first one to let everybody know what's going on. So whether your kid sends something home or you send to Ms. Wall, it's out to the parents, out to the public to let you know what's going on. There's never concern because she will always address anything that happened during the school day, during the school week. She's always there to announce what's going on at Barnum School. What I'd like to do now is I'm going to give you the opportunity, each of you, if you could say to all parents that are out there, not just to um, Bonner parents, parents out there with children in school, be it elementary, middle, high school, what would you say, based on your own experience of being a very involved parent, what would you say to them? I encourage everyone to get involved with your child's school, get involved with their life, show your support. Um, your kid already know that you love them, but the best way to show your love is to be there in all both the good time as well as the bad times, but come over to the school and get support and show your support at the school. Do you know something? That's going to be hard to beat. It's it going to be hard yeah. to beat. So now I'm going to put you on the spot. If you, okay. it, like I said earlier, if you could say anything to the community about getting involved, what would you say to parents? I just say just um, continue to support each other, support the schools. Instead of us being negative, um, doing negative things, um, and always. Um, highlighting the negative things. Let's highlight some of the great things that are going on. Let's highlight some of the great things that are going on in the schools. There's a lot of great things that are going on in the schools that's hidden that nobody hears of, but as soon as it's something negative, it's it's the first thing that you hear, newspapers, social media. So we just want to just share with um, the community the, the positive things that are going on. The community is a great community. We just want more parents to be involved and um, come to terms with the great things that are going on in the school and just we want to encourage the parents as my husband said to just continue to support not just our school all of the schools I know Johnson Elementary appreciated all the work you did I know they appreciate everything you're doing here at Bonner and they probably can't wait till you get to high school to jump on both of you to do some of the things for them and I want to thank both of you for spending some time with me today and thank you on behalf of Danville Public Schools. I don't have to thank you on behalf of Bonner because I've, I've heard that. I mean, you've done a great job, but Danville Public Schools appreciates everything that you're doing. Thank you. So thank you very much. You. Ms. Wall, uh, needless to say, they're very impressive. Uh, you are one lucky principal to have those parents involved. Uh, Talk to me a little bit about some of the things they've done. Um, we talked about the talent show and bringing out those aspects of, of the students. What are some of the other things that you've done? Well, we have had, across Danville Public Schools, we have the positive behavior support system where we reward kids for activities and for positive behaviors. And the Boosters Club has provided a lot of monetary gifts for that and provided some activities that we have been able to do for that. One of the things that we had at the beginning of the school year is we had a skate night at Skate Town. And we had probably 400 students participate in that. Uh, that was an activity that was enjoyed by all students, um, a lot of adults. A lot of us had some late nights, a late night there that Friday night. But great opportunity for a welcome back for our, our students. Do you see a difference as a principal in children that have the type of parental involvement that we've been talking about today and maybe some children that don't have that? Definitely. And I think just like at Skate, Skate Town, when we had the parents that came and enjoyed the night with us, it makes such a difference when our teachers were there and they could mingle with the, teach, the parents in an, in an atmosphere that wasn't a school atmosphere. Because, you know, when parents come into a school atmosphere, when you come in for a conference, you know, it's intimidating for yes. any parent to yes. come in. And, you know, we try to make every parent feel welcome, but it's still intimidating sometimes for that. And, you know, our Boosters Club has provided us with a lot of opportunities for that. They have provided a uh, field trip. Uh, paid for students to go on field trips that maybe could not afford that. Uh, in the back, we have picnic tables for our students to enjoy lunch on the patio uh, so that we have students that go out and have lunch now 
and uh, during lunchtime. And we also have some learning activities that go on during the day. You can sit outside, uh, something that I've always dreamed of having here at Bonner. And, um, you know, it's something that we could not have had had it not been for the Boosters Club. They have helped us by vacuum cleaners and things that, you know, have been beyond our school budget so that we could uh, carpets, uh, some of our decorative carpets for that have Bonner Middle School on it, and some of the things that just have helped us with the beauty around the school. Uh, but mainly, you know, everything and all the money that we've raised has gone right, right back to our school and staff for that year. When we raise money, it goes right back for that particular school group. I want to thank you for, um, I, I know our superintendent said, um, you know, what could our shows be about this year? What can we do? And your idea when you came to me to say, I've got a wonderful booster club. I want you to come over here and, and talk to them. And I, it's probably one of the first times we've had an opportunity to really spend with parents. Mm -hmm. we, can, we can talk to principals, we can talk to teachers, we can talk to administrators, but we don't always get that opportunity to talk to parents. So I want to thank you for bringing to the foreground the wonderful things that are going on here, mainly because of your booster club. Right. And I would just like to say that, you know, we do need to increase our parental uh, engagement here at the middle school level. And if parents, if you are watching, please come out, join. We want your support here at the middle school level. Um, all middle school students need your support, and um, we want to provide the educational opportunities for you. Our students need you. You know, the only way that we can improve our school is to have you on our side. We have great students here. We have great teachers. We've got a great booster club board. You've met our parent. Our, our president and his wife, the events coordinator. And I just can't say enough great things about our school. Uh, we are a family here. We do everything as a family. Our students are part of the family and our parents are part of the family. And the more that we can get involved, we've got community volunteers coming in and helping. And we've got great things going on at Bonner Middle School. And I want every parent to be a part of it. I was going to say some of that stuff, but you said it so well that I don't have to say it as I close the show. But one thing I would like to say to every parent out there that's watching, your school needs the same thing. Bonner's got a great program going here, but remember, your school needs it too, and you ought to be that person that steps up and says, I saw this show. They talked about what they're doing. Let's do it here at my school. So if you have an interest in getting involved in your child's education, you know from the show today how important that is to the children and to the parents. So get in touch with your school and see if you can't do the same thing that they're doing here at Bonner. I want to thank you for being with us this week, and you be sure to come back next week to see what's going on in Danville Public Schools.